Okay, welcome to the third part where I will retopology this rock. So if you don't know what is retopology, it's basically like doing the same mesh but with smaller amount of vertices so it can like so the game engine can handle it. So first part first stuff first step is go to layout mode. So we go out of sculpting and uh, let's hide it for a second here in the right panel you have an eye icon so you can hide it for a second so let's add uh, a cube okay so we want it to be roughly the size of the rock so you can enable the rock again you can see the rock here and maybe rename this we can rename this by double pressing the name so let's rename this to rock high which means it's high, high poly and let's rename this to rock low so this will be like retopologized version of this so now by pressing z you can go to wireframe and you can see bow, both mesh and you want the cube to be roughly the size of the rock so by pressing S and we want to scale it in Z direction so press Z to constrain it so you can scale it in Z direction by pressing G you can move it up for example okay so now it's roughly the shape of the rock and First step now is go to solid, press Ctrl 2 to subdivide it. So now we will have egg shape, egg like shape. Go to wireframe again. And now we want this egg shape to look like the rock shape. So you can go to uh, sculpting mode of this X shape by pressing tab go to sculpt mode ah first first uh, go back to object mode and you have to apply uh, the modifier or we can change it to free i think change change, change it to free so it will be smooth smoother so after this just click apply go to sculpt mode and now you can see the egg Okay, so we can manipulate it by mm, pressing G button, so this will change to grab brush and you can move it. Okay, so let's first move it up, so this will be uh, higher than the rock. and move the bottom so the egg will be egg will cover the rock okay so this is front view we want it to look like almost the same as the rock if you see the darker spots it means that the rock is outside of the egg so we have here outside it's it is outside here and here okay now after we finish the front view let's move to the right view so press Q go to right view and let's adjust it here okay okay after right view is done go to back view here you can change it a bit to make it closer to the mesh it will be important because we will project all those vertices onto the rock by modifier that I will show you later. Okay, after back is done, go to left view now and change it. Just keep doing it till you get roughly the same mesh. Go to top view also okay
okay after it is done uh, go back to object mode and you can see that yeah we covered the, the rock basically ah remember to, to save the project because it's 2.8 and it can crash so press ctrl s to save and name it rock stylize and press saved blender 5 okay now now after we done this press the egg we will call it egg i don't because it's easier and we will add a modifier called shrink wrap shrink wrap where is it here okay so now this modifier will make it shrink into the rock so if you change to wireframe view you can see the outline of the egg is here now we have to pick the target so you click the picker icon and uh, just move it above the rock it will show up object rock high press left click to confirm and now you can see that yeah the egg shrink wrapped onto the, the mesh okay we can also change the color if you want to see it better so go to rock low go to material section which is down here press new and uh, we can change the base color of it so yeah you can see the egg and uh, the rock okay so now um, we want to adjust adjust the the rock the, the egg sorry the egg to to fit better into the rock so let's let's take a look at wireframe Okay, I think we can f fix the bottom a bit because it looks a bit weird. Like, it, if you want to bake normal maps, good normal maps, it's it's better to have like the mesh cl closest to to the rock. Okay, so we can apply the modifier. Press apply. And now we'll go to edit mode of the egg and by selecting edge first you have to enable this icon and uh, this is snap icon it will snap vertices onto uh, the rock you have to change it to face so it will snap onto the face and uh, uncheck project onto self okay so by, by selecting vertices you can move them by pressing G and they will snap into onto the mesh so just follow the shapes of, of the rock for example here we will make it follow the the edge and yeah this will give us better results Okay, after everything is done, go back to look dev, uh, go out from edit mode, go to object mode, 
and now we have to unwrap it so we can apply the texture on it so we can hide the rock high this is the shape of our egg and we can unwrap it so let's go to UV editing this will set up everything for us and now we have to unwrap it so select we, we want to hide the theme so it, they won't be visible so let's cut it at the bottom because like no one looks at the bottom so by pressing left click you select by pressing control you you choose the the shortest shortest path so just keep going and just cut the mesh like we want to cut the bo bottom plane here so for example here where you have the vertices that only connects with three uh, other vertices uh, it's the place where, where you want to cut it so this is the bottom plane where you want to cut it so you select the, uh, the loop press ctrl e so the menu of the edges will pop up and press mark seam now we will do the same with the top plane so here's the vertice it's another one press control left click control left click okay so this is the top plane Press Ctrl E again, mark seam. And now uh, we have to cut along the pipe because this is like shape of the pipe. So you can select any edge, I think. For example, this one. Select from top to bottom. Press Ctrl E again, mark seam. Now select everything by pressing A. Uh, press U so unwrap menu will pop up and press unwrap so basically this will this is our unwrapped egg and uh, we can check if it's good by moving to the right by pressing middle mouse press play, uh, click display and toggle stretch on so okay so if it's blue it means it is good for example if if you select those vertices and move it away from from the plane it, it will stretch and green is not good red is uh, the worst okay so this is our mm, front back right left planes and one of them is bottom and one of them is top so basically we we have it unwrapped okay so now press ctrl s to save it and move move back to layout okay so retopology is done so let's move to the fourth part which is texturing <laughs> 